Conference Committee uh, to order. And Heidi, I know we have an extended roll call because Trustee Freeman's on the phone, so why don't you make sure we're all good? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Trustee Freeman? Present. Tr Trustee Carbawia? Here. Trustee Smith? Here. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we do have a quorum. However, because Trustee Freeman is participating in this meeting electronically, in accordance with Tennessee Code Annotated Section 844-108-C3, there are questions that need to be answered for the record. First, Trustee Freeman, are you able to hear us clearly from our location so that you may participate in this meeting? And secondly, please identify whether there is anyone in the room with you. Uh, I can hear you clearly. In the room I'm in is too small. I have to leave out of here. All right. <laughs> and of those present here in the meeting room, are you able to clearly hear Trustee Freeman? Yes. All right. Uh, the minutes will reflect answers in the affirmative. And is there anyone else on the phone with us at this time? Thank you. I'd like approval of the, uh, of the minutes. We've read them and so move. I wish someone would. So moved. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry because, again, because we're doing electronically, we I'm need sorry. to do a roll call vote. I'm sorry. The formalities. Um, so, Trustee good. Freeman. Uh, if Aye. you would, oh, thank you. Trustee Karboiak. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Thank you. I'd like to ask uh, to, to change the agenda or amend the agenda for one. Uh, so Joy Jacobs, chairman of the finance committee, can discuss the president's contract. And um, first, is that okay or do we need to have a motion? No, I, I believe it's so. Is that okay with you, Chris? Yeah, it's fine. Is that, um, does that go into executive session or is that part of the regular that public? Was, if, if, we, if, if the request is to uh, provide legal advice, then we may go into executive session. Otherwise, it would be a public session. I was going to read and, and happy to. Because there is a request for legal advice, we'll now go into executive session. Only matters that would be deemed privileged under attorney-client or will be discussed. Following this session, we'll go back into public session, as may be appropriate if there's any votes to be taken. And for those of you who wish to attend a public session, we'll come out in the hall and get you. Everyone but board members and law. Sydney, of course, would be happy to stay if he wanted to, but prefers to not stay. That means you guys back there, too. Don't forget to turn off the mics. Yeah. We're back into session and uh, had a good discussion. Uh, we're talking about, for the moment, we're out of order, but we're talking about the president's contract. And Daryl or Chris, <laughs> I'll screw that up. Do you, do you have a, a motion? So just as, a, as an update, there was a, we received an update on the status of the agreement, the, patent, the pending agreement. And so based on uh, the status and uh, pending finalization of a document, um, I'm, I think we'd like to, I'd like to move that we defer action on the president's contract uh, 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 no later than um, having it reviewed and appropriately um, decided by the committee no later than to be in time for the next board meeting, board of trust meeting, which is scheduled for December 11th. 11th. I'll second that. All in favor of that, is there any more discussion? In favor of uh, that, I think she has to do I'm the sorry. long term roll call. On. Trustee Freeman? Trustee Freeman? Yes. Uh, yes, we're taking a, a vote on the motion. 
Yes, I'm, I'm voting yes. I'm sorry. Did you vote aye, sir, or nay? Yes, I did. Which one? <laughs> Let's start again. Trustee Freeman? Aye. Thank you. Trustee Karbowiak? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. All right, we have uh, three ayes and no noes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, next is uh, the board self-evaluation. Heidi has sent around uh, a potential board self-evaluation plan. And are there any oral comments or if anybody wants to mark that up and send it back to her, there's still time. Or Heidi, are we going to vote specifically on this one? Well, that was the in, that was the hope, the intent that you would vote on this document and and also provide guidance on the process and perhaps a deadline for, you know, a time frame for how we're looking does at this. Does it reflect the changes that you suggested? Chris? Yes, it does. Good. Does anybody now a, now speak now or, or fill it out? <laughs> uh, whichever the worst punishment is. Does anybody have a suggestion? Then. Uh, I'm sure we've all, let's just, just do this. I'd like to have a motion to approve the suggested board self-evaluation form. And so moved. I have second. a motion and a second. Tony, is that you on second? Oh, I think it's just the three of us. Of course not. We're a small but mighty group. Oh, second. <laughs> Would you... Uh, do the roll call vote, please, Yes, sir. Uh, Trustee Freeman? Aye. Trustee Karbowiak? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Three ayes. Suggestion that, that, uh, that I spoke with Heidi about, and she did immediate and good research, I think, talk with Bruce. I know we've all filled these out, but I've used one called Survey Monkey, and they, they, they're confidential, they compile the results and give it back to you. And if I can do it online, then it's sophomore. You can do it. So that, that's my suggestion. You, you, don't have, you don't have an adverse opinion to that? I, no, sir. Okay. Um, I'd be happy to make that motion if, if you want. I, to. I've don't know anything about how to do a survey, so I'm totally incompetent, and I defer to somebody else who knows how to do this stuff. Uh, just briefly, and, and Bruce chime in to, to fill in any holes, but I, I think it's a fairly simple process. We, we simply um, buy the ability, the software package, I suppose, and then we, we put in our questions uh, and send the survey out, and, and Bruce has looked at it um, at our request and says it's, it's doable, uh, and then we will send it out to all the trustees. And then I, I think the software does some analytics on it and provides the responses that we can then submit to the executive and governance. Because I think one of the things that Heidi and I talked about was, and I'm not sure if we have came to resolution about this, is for the survey to be effective, it needs to be as, con as, as anonymous as possible. That's why I suggest this. Yeah, so, um, I, and yes. I don't know how we've solved for that. Survey Monkey allows anonymous responses. So. And we'll all be anonymous, they just have to get the right number, and you'll have a password, but won't be, uh, like you say, it's no good at all if it's not a candid. No, it's gotta be candid, and people tend to be more forthright when they figure that their name won't be attached to it. All in favor of, of that, say aye. Aye. Okay, we got aye. Does the committee want to provide any time frame guidance on? You want this done as quickly as possible uh, with the. Um, I'm, I yield. I don't. I think maybe getting a report out. When's the first board meeting in 2019? Kim, do you have, or Pat, do you have that right? I think it's in March. So, quite, let's just say so, by the first meeting. In the well, what I'm thinking is the reason I say the, by the first board meeting is you'd like to circulate the results in advance of the board meeting. Yep. 
And well, then you want to be able to take a look at that and kind of digest it and then come to the board meeting with questions and comments about what you've seen or or right. and I think what the what the, this committee may want to do is look at the results and make some recommendations yeah. Yeah. as first for instance goals and changes um, revisions and that kinds of yeah, things. So it'll take some time. It's not just getting results back. It's to your point, Heidi, the analysis. Absolutely. So we'll ha well at least we'll have the the final results to the E and G committee at its next meeting, which is February something. February twenty sixth and March twenty sixth is the board meeting. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll do that then. You don't call the roll. I, if you, you don't need to, <laughs> I, I think I don't think you. This is just as guidance for how to implement that. I think we don't need a board of trustees sunset hearing. I think, Mr. President, you have some update on that. Yes, and I will ask both um, Alan Thomas and Heidi Zimmerman to chime in. Uh, the legislature has a process for all state agencies of. Um, evaluating whether or not they will continue essentially and it's called a sunset hearing um, prior to us having our independent board that role was left up to the board of regions the central office now as an independent institution we all are responsible for um, really a preparing uh, appearing before the joint uh, government oversight committee that includes the Senate and the House. Um, and it, the hearing has been set for all of the LGIs for the 19th of December. They have uh, uh, sent us a number of questions to respond to. And I've asked uh, Heidi and Alan to work on preparing uh, for uh, the, the hearing and getting the questions together. Um, I spoke with the, one of the chair of the Oversight Committee today, Representative uh, Faison from East Tennessee, and uh, indicated that we're working on it and to get additional information as to exactly who needs to appear. And so he's going to uh, get back with me on that. But at this time, we are preparing uh, the answers to the questions. Alan, Heidi, do you want to add anything to it? No, sir. I, I think you've. Okay. Would it would it be fair to say that it was not going to be like a, our law school vote? I mean, would it be fair to say it's something we got to do and do it right, but it's not a a, a major fear. I, I hate to predict what the legislature would do, um, but the questions are pretty straightforward. Um, I would be very surprised if. Um, we run into any difficulties um, in making our case that we are legitimate, good, functioning, operational institution. Thank you. Daryl, uh, that concludes our meeting, unless you have a comment, and Chris? No, nope. I'm good. Handle. I'll call this meeting adjourned. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Good night.